Hello everyone, this is a fun collab video with my friend Catherine from Catherine Ward Art. Her video is in the upper left hand corner. Make sure you either click that or click the description link down below to watch her video. So you can check out her channel and subscribe to her if you haven't heard of her. She's pretty well known so I'm pretty sure you've all heard of her before. She does beautiful oil paintings and hers is an oil painting. But you don't even know what we're doing so I guess I should tell you, right? Alright, so we threw around a couple ideas and quickly came up with a theme called Wonderlust. And we had so much fun with this collab. We both did like very different ideas and it's really cool to see how people interpret different things, you know, and so definitely check out her video. She focuses more on the male figure as opposed to a lot of us in the art community who draw females a lot. And so I think that's really cool, very respectable because, you know, I think we should all draw males more and she's just <laughs> not afraid to do it and it's, it's really awesome. And so she has a lot of unique things to offer on her channel and I definitely applaud her for incorporating males into her art. It makes me want to try it now. <laughs> it's really cool. And so definitely check her out. I'll tell you a little bit about my painting now, and then I'll talk more about her. So as I said, our theme is Wonderlust. And you can see that my character's skin is very bright, very radiant, and it is the globe. So my reasoning behind doing this is because I am a once upon a time junkie. It's my favorite show and if you're really far in the seasons, I don't know, you don't really have to be that far to meet Zelina, the Wicked Witch, but her skin turns green when she's overcome by jealousy and it's such a harsh green that stands out, like you can't miss it. and. It's just so bright and it doesn't really matter what the environment is around her I mean if she's jealous it just appears and so my character when she's overcome by the emotion of like man I just really want to go somewhere in the world and like see this place she has this thing where her skin turns into the pattern of the globe and it's just like almost glowing because it's such a strong emotion but it doesn't really fit the environment around her and so, I broke some little no-no rules here, and I did not make the background match the color scheme of her skin. <laughs> it was really fun. So the background has, like, muted natural colors. There's, like, a muted pink, very earthy greens, and then her hair. You'll see in a minute what it will look like. And I decided not to do shading in the background. I mostly just did solid colors and I did outlines on all the leaves. Her hair will be like that too, you'll see soon. So let's talk a little bit more about Catherine Ward and then I will talk more about my art. Just kind of going back and forth because it's more fun that way, right? So Catherine Ward is also really amazing at like painting nature. See, <laughs> nature is a really hard thing for me to paint takes a long time and a lot of planning and it just seems to come natural to her. It's really cool. Actually my favorite painting she's done is the northern lights. Like the sky is just ridiculously beautiful and I'm not sure if she still has prints for that for sale in her shop. I think that was like one of the limited edition ones but you should definitely go and look at the stuff that she paints. It's sweet and I like how she incorporates like male anatomy with this like nature in the background it's like it looks like it takes so much planning and stuff and so yeah but as I just mentioned that was in her store not sure if it is anymore but she does have a store so point being you can check that out if you wish to I'll leave her social media in case you want to follow her as well but yeah anyway I am going in to my painting and tediously doing all these plants here. Took a long time, <laughs> trust me. 
And then when I started painting her hair, I had no idea what kind of commitment I was just introducing myself to. But dude, this painting took... I think... I can usually do a painting in like one or two sittings, but this took me days. Like days. And, um... Yeah. I had to edit this video in segments because my little laptop just can't handle big projects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Like, I had to export multiple things and lace them together and stuff. It was, it was crazy. But this painting, actually, the idea came to me when I was on my honeymoon in Europe. And yeah, it was really nice that we chose the theme of Wanderlust because, coincidentally, I could use this idea. But I really love traveling the world and just seeing different cultures and countries and meeting people and stuff. And I just kind of started thinking about this idea over there because um, when I travel I like to look at like the plants and their architecture and just like all that stuff. So I was like why not include like a bunch of different ferns and stuff in the background to represent like these could be from all over the world and you have like almost no idea where she wants to go. So that's another reason why this painting also looks a little creepy. It's like, you have no idea where she wants to go, so her eyes kind of um, are empty. There's no iris, there's no pupil, it's just this empty white. And I did that because I wanted there to be like, I don't really know how to word this, but there's a disconnect between you, the viewer, and her, the character. And you can't really connect with her too deeply because she's so overcome by this emotion that she's almost living inside her head right now you know she's just putting all her thoughts on where she wants to be and you have no idea where it is like you just sorry but you can't connect with her that way because she's just in her own little world kind of thing <laughs> so I thought that was cool and I had a blast painting this I had a blast working with Catherine I just really like her because she's just she's such a fun person to talk to She's such a fun person in her videos, you know, she's so laid back and approachable and everything. And I really like that she does oil paint because I think that's like one of the hardest mediums to use. <laughs> um, that and oil pastel for me anyway. But she like, she's like a master at it and so, yeah. But I like watching her tour videos, like she has a really fun art studio, I think, the way it's set up and stuff, and she does a lot of videos showing her studio, and yeah, so you should definitely check her channel out, but as I said, she's a very well-known ch channel, so I'm pretty sure you've all heard of her, but if you haven't, go show her some love, yeah, yeah. Her video piece is like a male with wings, and he is sitting like in the foreground of this beautiful lake at night, and you can almost see like all of these peaceful reflections in the water and then like the horizon a little bit in the background and stuff and it is beautiful like as I said she's so good at incorporating nature into her artwork and just getting these vibrant colors to all work together so yeah it was a lot of fun but you can visit her store if you want her piece you can visit my store if you want like prints of this or the original whatever suits your fancy and yeah give us a thumbs up and subscribe to either one of us if you haven't and yeah if you're watching this video and you want to go watch hers you can show her some love by commenting that i referred you over there whatever suits your fancy and i hope you have fun watching these i mean wonderless is a fun thing and i think we all experience it so it's relatable in some ways but I think in some ways too like people don't really understand us because like we want to be somewhere else and so we're just kind of daydreaming about it but they don't really know anyway we are reaching the end i gradually slowed down the time lapse as i went just because i thought it would be cool to like start fast and like go slower and slower so you can see all the little details at the end in the hair which took hours and hours it was crazy all right, well, this is the finished product. Sorry, I didn't put a picture, but you could pause it if you want. Um, yeah, I need to get better at that. But anyway, 
I will see you soon in next week's video. So have a good day, guys. Bye.